Good advice. Well, listen, we've got uh, Terry on the line from Alliston. Terry, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Question or comment for us? Yeah, question is um, a couple, how would mediation help a couple who have strong spiritual views, like uh, say a, a strong Christian, because uh, sometimes it can be very, almost embarrassing um, to have to uh, confess this and, and go through this. Yeah, um, well, you know, the, the, their, I guess with their relationship with God, they have to deal with their pastor and, and, and that process with the pastor about how to reconcile that relationship with God. However, God wants us as Christians to reconcile our differences. That doesn't mean the couple comes back together, but it does mean, in my point of view, is that they reconcile the relationship of being apart, they reconcile their parental relationship, okay? And how are you going to do that if, you're, if, if you have that strong spiritual belief, how are you going to do that in a litigation that's going to take three years, four years, five years? Mm -hmm. And all that, for that, all that period of time, you haven't reconciled that, so then, of course, you're in a conflict. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so if, if you have deep spiritual beliefs, well, I think for all of us, whether you have strong beliefs or not, forgiveness is, you got to do that. Mm -hmm. You got to get it out, out of your system. And you, gotta, you do have to reconcile that relationship. I mean, you have to put it in some perspective in your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Patricia, have you had experience with people coming in, spiritual faith beliefs and having to find a way to give them advice and deal with that and yeah. make that part of the process? I have. It's, it's just recognizing that that is part of the process that they are going through and that that needs to be recognized and it needs to be a part of that process. You can't mm -hmm. unacknowledge that and, and try to go through a separation without it. Mm -hmm. And I think that the court system wouldn't